Okay, it's going to look messy, but <clears throat> we're going to glue our lenses in. Um, one thing we don't want to do here is if you... Uh, you don't want the goop to touch between lenses because the flask can travel it. So we're just going to goop it up. And I know it looks like a mess. I really don't want my case to leak at this spot. So I'll, I'll go with the mess. I'm going to be covering it up later and I'll show you how we'll be doing that. So we want to make sure we get goop around the edges. And we're going to lay our glass down. And we can clean this up. We can let it sit for a little bit and then we come back here. And we can clean out, clean these, uh, clean the, the goop off later. So if I get anywhere I don't want, I come back and clean it. And after I do that, I want to separate the goop. So I want to make sure I got a, a path that's that uh, I want to make sure there's a separation between the goop. So I'll I'll use a a screwdriver. That's a goop will peel off, and I'll I'll take that goop out between the two lenses. Like I said, I don't want my goop to touch because it'll travel. And for safe measures, I always put a little bit extra goop on around the edges. This is just one spot I really don't want leakage. And right now things look really ugly. I've got goop all over the place. I got let's put it on the screws here so that we don't leak at the screws. I'm really trying to make my best for this case not to leak. I don't want to give it any reason to leak. I'm gonna go back through. Make sure I'm separated. And I put goop around the screws. I got goop around my pipe through. Need things to dry off. Now we're going to let it sit for a while and let it dry. Okay, I'm going to glue in our battery holder for my externals. I'm only going to use a 2A. We can actually use more than that if we wanted to. We can put it on the lid and just wire it over. So I'm just going to sit that in there and glue it in. Now to hold that. Okay, I'm going to camo it, as, as I said earlier. I'm going to use some, uh, it's called PL200. You can use uh, liquid nail if you want. And all I'm going to do is smear it all over the front. Now, I put a little extra right there above the shutter because I'll need that out a little bit. And we can be messy, and I like to keep it, keep all my coating of this vertical because I want it to stand out, look like bark. I always put a little extra on the uh, where the HPWA goes.
You can put a couple coats of this on if you want. I'm putting it on heavy. The stuff dries pretty nice, so it'll be dry. PL2000 dries in about a day where liquid nail might take a week. And that's what that looks like. After I let it dry for a little bit, and I didn't let it dry long enough, and I'm trying to go fast, I'll knead this. And I'll make like a hood. Okay, now we're going to get ready to paint. And I'll just put some masking tape over the holes like this and trim them out with a uh, X-Acto knife. And what I did was I kneaded that top out so it made it look like a, a lid or a way to keep the rain off of the glass a little bit. So I go around the lens with an X-Acto knife. Pull my tape off, and now I'm ready, ready to paint. Now I'm ready to paint it, and we'll you'll see what it looks like. Okay, we moved the tape on, and that's how our camo turned out. Pretty nice. Um, we want to clean up uh, a little bit of the tape off the lenses eventually. Okay, we got one more thing to do. Is when this case came, it had a bladder in it, and we can't use the whole bladder, but we need to cut the edge saw for the seal so that's what we're going to do next this is the bladder that was in the case and I, I only want this part of the bladder so I'm going to set it down and I'm going to cut that seal part out of there with an exacto knife Okay, after I cut that out, this is what I end up with. Now I put that right on, goop this into the case. Now I can goop that in so it don't come out. Um, when I put my hack camera in, I wire into the board. You might take, you'll have to take the board off to get to the connector. But once it's on, it's on. Um, then I can wire into my external. Now I want to use them in the camera alkaline and the external. Um, the other thing is is flash bleed. So the camera needs to be up against the flash gasket. Here it looks like I would not I'm not gonna have any problems. But the camera doesn't get up to the to the flash gasket then I need to add some more foam up in this part so it pushes harder on the camera. If you push too hard on the camera you won't seal and the case will leak. So you've got to find that fine line between where you don't have no flash bleed and the case doesn't leak. Uh, one way to test the case is dip it in water and see if it leaks. I recommend not have, um, not, if you flood it, don't ruin your camera. Um, that concludes our build for this um, really nice setup, pipe through, very simple, very easy. Um, if you have any questions, you know, give me a PM. And, um, Buckshot 164 on Archery Talk or um, Hag's House or CamTrapper.com. Uh, this concludes the uh, build.